Uh, I get a call from uh, a friend who says that uh, there are a group of um, Soviet artists, this is back when the Soviet Union still existed, if I'm dating myself, uh, who are traveling around America, cosmonauts, actors, directors, critics, whatnot, and there's this, they're coming to, so to Soho and there's a party and what I, what I like to attend. And one of the people is a guy named Sergei Bondarchuk. Anybody remotely know who Sergei Bondarchuk was? Sergei Bondarchuk is the director of the most expensive movie in history, literally. He made it in the mid-60s for the Soviet Union. It's the Soviet eight-hour film version of War and Peace. It cost, in the 1960s, $100 million to make. By contemporary uh, uh, money, that would be like more than a billion and a half dollars. <laughs> it's an amazing movie. You know, it's War and Peace, so it's all these battles, but it's before CGI. So when he had 30,000 people on the screen, he had 30,000 people on the screen. <laughs> really, he had a helicopter shooting down from a mile, and you can see the battle lines, the costumes that they wore for the war, uh, for the war scenes. It took a year for them to make the costumes for one bloody scene. It's an astonishing film. Also, the dramatic stuff is wonderful. I see this film, which is a long movie. I see this film six or seven times. I'm just enthralled by it. And so I'm told, you know, I have a chance to meet Sergei Bondarchuk, and they say, bring along somebody that the Russians will find interesting. And I think, ah, Paul Sills is in town, and I'll, I'll bring him along. And the, so Paul says, who is this guy? I said, well, I've got a tape of the, of the film. I'll show you some of it. And he looks at it and he says, okay, this, this guy's the real deal. Okay. And we go down, and we're, to, we're meeting Sergei Bondarchuk and the interpreter, and Sergei Bondarchuk knows one sentence of English. Fierce, we drink. <laughs> And so we're drinking vodka and having a very nice time. And you know, Bondarchuk, it's been 20 years since he's made this film, which, by the way, won the best foreign picture film. It's really worth putting in your Netflix list. Uh, and he says, he says, that guy over there is a critic. He thinks I'm washed up. Fuck him. All in Russian, of course. Um, and so we're getting along very nicely. And at a certain point, they turn to us, and the, the, the interpreter and Sergei turn to us and say, so here we are. We are Russian. We've come to visit your country. You can see that we're human. We are. You, you come to Russia. We'll see that you're a human, you know? <laughs> and uh, Paul says, well, actually, my grandfather came from Russia. And I said, my grandfather came from Russia. And he says, well, they say, well, come home. <laughs> <laughs> what we don't mention is our grandfathers left Russia about 15 inches ahead of the pitchforks that their grandfathers <laughs> were aiming at their backs. <laughs> You know, because, you know, our grandfathers were like, you know, Jewish, which is not exactly, even today, the most popular thing in, in Russia. <laughs> you know, uh, Silza's uh, uh, grandfather got to Ellis Island. His name was uh, Conrad, Conrad Bolachekowski. Okay? And the guy at Ellis Island said, Conrad Bolachekowski, that name will never work in the United States. You need something shorter. Quick, what's that book you're carrying? And Connie pulls out a book, and it's John Stuart Mills. And he says, all right. Uh, we're going to make it Mills. And that becomes his name, Make Mills. Oh. Sills' grandson is named Make in honor of his grandfather, Make It Mills. My family, uh, I guess the family lived in a town called Poltava, and it was wealthy enough uh, to have a maid. And the Cossacks were coming. And the maid said, go down into the basement, let me handle this. Because Cossacks were never good news. Right? You saw that around the you know this, right? <laughs> so, you know, the Cossacks come, they boom, 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 where are the Jews? And the maid says, do you think I'd allow any filthy fucking Jews in my house? Get out of here. And they believe her. That's why I'm alive. They go and kill the people next door. So anyway, apparently, Paul and I, <laughs> that's called a segue. Thank <laughs> you.